All right, hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to do a ripple edit. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now, and I'm still using all panels, all right? And uh, here, uh, I already have a sequence, nature montage sequence here. So uh, in previous video, we talked about this, you know, selection tool and uh, what are the uh, function of this, all right? But in this video, we're going to perform this ripple edit tool there's a little secret here all right that you probably didn't know all right there is uh like a hidden tools inside of this tool all right as you can see there, there's uh you know there's a triangle on the right corner a uh, bottom right corner of these uh, uh icons all right meaning there's hidden tools inside of those tools all right now to access those tools is all you have to do is to um hold down all right your mouse all right clicking and then you can access those you know track selection forward and track selection backward all right so uh, in this way uh, we're going to uh, choose the uh, ripple edit tool all right so if you can't see if if there if there's a different icon next to this you know next to this um, tool or the third icon if this is not a ripple edit tool all you have to do is to uh, hold your hold down your um, hold your uh, hold your mouse all right click it just keep holding and then you can uh, select uh, one of these all right so in this video we're going to learn how to do a ripple edit tool all right so let's release the mouse over there and now this icon is a ripple edit tool there's a shortcut all right if you hover your mouse you will see the shortcut which which is letter b for boy okay and then so we are here in the timeline okay we're going to perform and we're going to see the difference in how we can do this ripple edit tool all right so let's do it now as you can see all right uh when you when i hover my mouse on in between of the clips all right in the clips here all right you cannot by the way you cannot go here in the middle all right it says with the red you know no no symbol all right no symbol and then you can only do a ripple edit inside or in between of the clips all right and in the uh, start of the clip okay as you can see all right because what it does is let's say this uh this clip all right we're going to do a ripple edit all right see what's going to happen i'm going to drag this to the left all right all right as you can see i'm just dragging it to the left and then once i release the mouse everything follows all right all of the video clips next to this clip follows that so that's the difference of this unlike before with the selection tool all right so let me undo it so that we can see and like here in the selection tool if you just drag this all right with this red icon if you just drag this and you will release your mouse these uh videos all right next is not following up and you know closing the gap all right so that's the difference between the regular trimming that we talked about before and these um ripple edit tool all right so all right let's me uh let's try to undo it by hitting command c and then i'm gonna do uh one more time the uh, ripple edit tool all right ripple edit tool and then i'm gonna do it on the uh, on uh, forward all right and see what's gonna happen so if we're gonna do it right here all right and then i'll release it well, as you can see it's snapped there and the edited but it, everything follows and snap it to this video all right all right as you can see all right let me do it again okay so we have here a clip here all right from here uh to this part all right and i'm gonna do a ripple uh i'm gonna do a ripple edit tool all right letter b okay so i'm gonna drag it one more time all right in the middle all right as you can see in the program monitor you will see the first uh the on this first screen that's is uh, our last uh frame of our clip on the first video okay and uh on the second screen and that is the second video that we're doing the edit all right if you look at the timeline this is our uh second video on the program monitor so that you will also see where you're trying to edit it okay so when you do that if you release it it will snap here in the first video all right and without leaving any gap all right so that's how you use this ripple edit tool all right so that is uh, so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video